war on fentanyl is being fought on two fronts. That was the key message today from local Mexican officials. They were highlighting what their country is doing to battle the opioid epidemic here on U.S. soil. The message comes amid growing fear that this fentanyl crisis will skyrocket this summer. Here's NBC's Damien Trujillo. The DA's office says the fentanyl crisis is so bad that one local drug dealer even told his client to make sure he had Narcan on hand when he took the pill. Tonight, even local Latino leaders say they're especially concerned. Amid the news that fentanyl deaths jumped 41% in Santa Clara County last month and seven more overdose deaths have been recorded this month, local leaders gathered to sound the summer alarm. We worry that during that time we're going to see more use of fentanyl in our community. But this is the chart that worries local Latino leaders most. It shows Latinos account for the highest percentage of fentanyl deaths in Santa Clara County since 2019. It's really a concern for us, and we have been starting to spread the voice about this uh, terrible uh, impact of the consumption of these pills. The Consul General of Mexico in San Jose says the consulate has constant educational talks about the crisis to ensure more Mexicans are aware of the dangers. And she says a second front of her country's war against fentanyl is with drug traffickers. The consulate says it wants to clear any misconceptions that Mexico isn't doing its part on that front. She touts the Mexican Marines' increased confrontations with drug cartels and the recent seizure of more than 6,000 tons of fentanyl-laced pills. Mexico is collaborating also with the United States to detain these uh, uh, traffic, but it's important also focus on consumption and also distribution in here. It's epidemic. Fentanyl consumption is so worrisome that the chief assistant DA issued this warning about taking pills of any kind. If it didn't come from their doctor out of a prescription bottle, I would be concerned and I think everybody should be concerned. A chilling warning about a growing crisis that shows no signs of slowing. Damien Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.